All right, what I want to start doing next is establishing some highlights and shadow. Um, so what I'm going to do is just basically take the same colors we've been working with, a little burnt sienna, a little blue. But what I want to do is make a color that's only slightly lighter. We want to do this gradually. Okay, so I'm just going to test my color up here. You can see that's quite a bit brighter, so I want to go just gradual. So we're going to add a little bit more blue. So a little bit more blue and burnt sienna, darkening it up just a little bit more. All right, that's where we want to start with. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start by establishing some shadow down here. There's basically a petal here that comes up with highlight on it. comes right up to this petal. It's just above it. But this all in here is in shadow. Okay, so I'm going to start with some of the obvious areas first. This one up here is also highlighted, but there's a little bit of a shadow from this petal being cast on. So we're going to go and leave just that piece there darker right here. And then I'm going to start brushing up and filling in. The top part of this petal right here is dark, so I'm going to go around it and then fill in. So again, what we're doing right now, establishing highlights and shadows. Not worried too much about the very specific details. We're just now establishing our lights and dark, uh, darks when it comes to shapes. I like to do directional brush strokes, so brushing with the shape of the petal. Alright, so on this petal underneath right here, Got a highlight right there. And then it kind of fades. So what I do to fade, wipe my brush off, and then just scrub the edge. If you scrub too hard, you'll get the bristles to splay out too much, but we just want to touch up that edge there and kind of soften it a little bit into the shadow. All 
All right, so up here, there is a shadow in the middle of the petal. So I'm gonna start right in the middle. I'm gonna do these lines coming out. Try to soften that edge with light pressure. And then we're doing brush strokes out and away from that spot out to the edge. So there's that little kind of bump there. And then there's a highlight here and we're gonna do the same thing. We're scrubbing out And there's a little, there's only a little bit of paint on my brush now. The edge of the petal is brighter. And then this part in the middle is faded. So we're just scrubbing lightly and allowing it to fade. Now I'm going to go down to this petal here. It's brighter down bottom. Kind of brighter as it comes up around. And then again, this one has that same kind of thing where there's a line. A little bit faded up there in the corner. <clears throat> you can always use your finger to kind of soften up spots. It gets darker. Right up there in the corner, but there's some couple little streaks there that come out to the edge. So I'm going to put those in and then just kind of wipe them off with my finger. And I'm going to fade this up just a little bit. And then I'm just going to scrub over this edge just a little bit too. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into some shadow. So I'm going to take that same color, some burnt sienna, a little bit of blue, but now I'm going to go a little bit more on the burnt sienna side. I want these shadows to be a little bit warmer. We'll go a little bit more burnt sienna and blue. Got to get that a little bit darker.
Okay, that same shadow. I'm going to kind of establish some of these little lines. All right, also on this petal here, um, I shaped it a little bit off, so I'm gonna add a little bit to it here. And then I actually should have had the pedal going up in front on this side here. So just, you can always alter as you look at your reference photo. I just wanna make sure that I get the the shape accurate. All right, so I'm gonna go more ultramarine blue, burnt sienna. Establishing those shadows a little bit more. And then I'm going to go into even more white. So we're going to go lighter. I'm going to start down here. Okay, so we're getting much lighter now. Over here, it's quite a bit lighter. And this piece is lighter. So we're just going to where our lights were and going even brighter. So this piece, we want to fade because the edge down here gets darker. And we want to fade it up as well because there's that little crease. So 
So you can do a little line, then you're just fading. To fade, just wipe your brush off. All right, so we're gonna continue using lighter and lighter color and our directional brush strokes to create further highlights on the orchids. Um, so when you're using white, it's such a subtle change between colors that as it dries, some of those darker colors that we started with will show through a little bit more. So just try to keep with the directional brush strokes and continue layering to get it lighter and lighter. Uh, eventually we'll put one final highlight on at the end but look at the pattern uh, on the reference photo you'll see that you know they have that crease that's kind of down the middle of the petal and then highlights coming off and then they come off in streaks from the center some of it solid but some of it um, is some of those kind of like streaky lines coming off and what we're trying to do is create a transition between those lines where it's not super dark um, but at the same time, you can see the difference in values. So that's why we continue to layer. Uh, so that way, some of those little ridges will show through. We don't want to paint them all out, but we want to continue layering. And sometimes you can go over some of that dark color just a little bit with a thin layer of white, and the dark stuff will show through. As long as you use thin layers of paint, uh, the darker layers underneath will always continue to show through. Obviously, if you put you know, 10, 12 layers on, it will stop showing through because titanium white does have an opaque quality to it. But there is a, there, it is a little bit semi-transparent. So the more layers, the more white your flower is gonna get. So this, you can see, I just continue to keep going over and over uh, until I'm happy with the brightness of the flower. So you can see here, I'm kind of going over with a very thin layer, even some of the dark areas, but as that dries, it will show through. So whenever you go over some of the darker areas, you wanna transition some of those little shadows into the lighter white. Just take a really thin layer and brush over. The thicker the layer of the paint, the more opaque it's gonna be. So you just have to be a little bit careful with that. All right, we're going to mix it up a little bit and we're going to create pink um, centers rather than the uh, yellow ones that you see there, or yellow and white. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ultramarine blue, burnt sienna, and in between this piece here, this is a little see-through open spot. And then... I'm going to go even darker blue with burnt sienna. And in here, there's kind of just a little dark opening. All right, so I'm going to wash my brush off now. I'm going to start on this side, which will be more in highlight. I'm going to take my lizard and crimson. Actually, let's start with the darker side. Lizard and crimson, just a little bit of my blue. I'm going to take some white. Now, this part on the inside 
is in shadow. Okay, so just filling that in solid for now. I'm going to bring it right close to this little piece there. And what I want to do is make sure that I get all the way um, overlapped to the drawing that we had. So I want to go all the way out to this edge here and all the way to this edge. All right, and then underneath right here is in shadow a little bit, but then there's some highlight. So I'm going to go along the edge right here. All right, and then right here, a little bit of a shadow. All right, so we got a lot of our shadow stuff. I'll put a little bit underneath right here. All right, everything else is pretty much in highlight. This little piece will probably be in shadow. All right, so I'm going to go into this color. I'm going to add some white to it. And on the very top here, I'm going to put that little highlight. Then on this side, we're going to paint this whole side in A little bit lighter. And again, I want to make sure, I'm going to add a little bit of water because I want to make sure that I get all the way out over my drawing. I'm going to go a little bit more alizarin, so slightly darker on the inside piece. On the very front, I'm going to use that color too. Just a little highlight there, but it's not as bright as the top highlight. Again, filling out all the way to the end. So I don't want it to appear outlined or anything like that. I'm going to go a little bit more white. 
as I add in these little curled pieces. And I really want to focus in on getting rid of any drawing lines. I'm going to do a little bit of a lighter color here on the bottom part of this piece but darker up top. Okay, I'm gonna add some more white and then the top part here, a little bit lighter. All right, next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint in the stem color and then we'll keep working all along on the flowers. All right, I'm gonna take some of my, I'm gonna take burnt umber, some of my ultramarine blue, and then some cad yellow. We're gonna get a really dark, Green, I'm going to add a little more blue to it to start with. And basically all I want to do to start is block in the stem. All right, so we're just gonna block in the entire stem and then we'll move on to, we're gonna start with one of the buds and then we'll keep working along on the flowers. So go ahead and fill in the rest of this stem. 
all the way down to the bottom, all the way to the end. Don't fill in the blossoms or the uh, buds yet. Um, but next we'll at work on the blo the buds. All right, so I'm gonna work on one of these buds. I'm gonna take the same stem color. I'm gonna add white to it and yellow. First thing I'm gonna do is just paint the whole thing in with that color. Again, getting all the way to the end of the drawing. You don't want to outline it all. So getting all the way to the end of that. And while you have this color going, we can paint all the the buds in. Alright, so the stem and the bud are about the same color. So this part of the stem too, about the same color. So we'll start it there. All right, first thing I wanna do Take that same color, mix some of the colors back in to darken it. Look for the dark parts. line coming down through. Then dark underneath here. Dark right there. A little line right there. little dark right on top here it kind of comes the stem kind of comes down and creates a little shadow same with this little indent right there All right, same color now, more white. Gonna highlight the spots here, just kind of curve with the bud.
Okay, I'm going to look for the same over here. A little highlight there, a little highlight on the stem. Might add a little touch of yellow and some more white. Gonna highlight up here. All right, what I'm gonna do next is work a little bit on the flowers in behind. Um, and I wanna give them a little bit of a greenish hue on certain parts. Um, if you notice in the reference photo, I'm gonna go a little bit more blue. But if you notice in the reference photo, I'm gonna go a little bit more yellow the back of this flower kind of has some yellowish hue to it. So I'm going to add in those yellowish hues. And the yellowish, I'm going to go onto the stem here. But those yellowish hues kind of start from the middle and then go out to the ends. So I'm going to start with these kind of yellowish pieces but I'm going to overlap color on top so that that just shows through. If you accidentally go onto the stem a little bit like I did there, not to worry, we'll um, add a highlight detail to the stem later, which will cover that up. All right, so kind of this yellowish, I'm gonna go right out to the end of my drawing. Then I'm gonna go into my white. I'm gonna grab more blue because I want it to be a little bit more grayish now. And you can see I'm gonna overlap back in to the flower. So I'm starting out here and overlapping back in. And this petal itself, we're going to make a little bit more on that kind of bluish hue. Not quite as much green in this one.
All right, so we might want to go darker here and there. You can grab more blue, maybe a little uh, burnt sienna. And on certain spots, like on the edge here, maybe we'll go a little bit darker. Little kind of overlaps into that green. And trying to pull the color out on this petal all the way to the end. You can see I'm still doing those directional brush strokes. Again, if you overlap a little bit into the stem, it's really nothing to worry about.